are you are you ready? I am ready. Okay. Hi, welcome back to the third episode of the Objective Polling Podcast edition 2015. Uh, this is Steph MC, um, and uh, today I'm gonna uh, stay in the same country as opposed to the last uh, two interviews because in front of me, uh, actually not really in front of me, but in front of the computer, uh, I have my good friend Uli Kustoa. What's up, Uli? Hello. How's it going? I'm doing fine. Good. So the the usual joke would be in Germany that we are almost in the same country, uh, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but that would be a hard one to start uh, uh, because you're not even actually from Munich. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not. But you have a messed up story of being from Switzerland or whatever. Um, so be be before that we speak about where you are from, uh, give us a little bit of background where you are from technically. Uh, pretty much everybody knows that you are working for. Uh, many, many years, probably uh, decades, uh, uh, centuries at Elgato. Uh, <laughs> but what have you done before those uh, centuries? Mostly just studying and uh, then dropping out of uni. And <laughs> um, uh, yeah, and writing lots of like code and stuff. And I did, you know, like little little jobs on the side. Um, I think the only one worth mentioning might, have, might be I, I essentially did uh, one... Uh, uh, one guy who did lots of presentations. I did a presentations program for him, so like his own specialized PowerPoint. Okay. And that was like my my first big uh, customer, um, customer driven uh, application development. All the most of the other stuff was either bug fixes and 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 uh, updates to existing stuff or just stuff I needed. Mm -hmm. So you started working uh, very quickly at Elgato, and what have you done at Elgato since so many, many years? Uh, because uh, originally, back in the days when I had Pumpcast and I had Elgato sponsoring the Pumpcast, we're speaking about 2005, dude, that's 10 years ago, wow, uh, <laughs> you guys were more, uh, I would say, a, a TV software company. Uh, but things have changed. Yeah, um, with all the YouTube and and other stuff going on. So of course, TV is not as much, uh, not as big a market as it used to be. We're still doing fine. I hear the other people are losing, losing market share. So that's good for us. <laughs> um, but, um, but yeah, so so what we mostly do, we, we've always been a peripherals company. Like the first uh, products mm -hmm. of the people behind Elgato, like like the guy who founded the company was the guy who did Toast. Back then, it was a differently named company, but essentially, that's what it all grew out of. And um, so, so they've always been, and they did uh, floppy disk drivers and CD drivers and all sorts of stuff that you still had to do back then. Um, so we've always been a hardware company, and so uh, we we have a little bit of a focus on video, in that we are doing a game capture product right now, with which you can just. Uh, like you can plug in any HDMI source. So usually it's game consoles, but of course, you know, if you're playing a game on your iPad or something, you can record it with that and stream it out into the internet. And uh, we're also like the, the newest thing is lots of Bluetooth uh, low energy. So uh, I guess most people call them smart devices. Uh, so, so that's like sensors or other stuff that you can, you know, like the, the thing that you put in your living room and it'll tell you uh, when you should open the windows because the air is getting bad. Yeah, lots of... Uh... Lots of funny things. What is interesting with you is also that you... Uh, well, first of all, Legato has been sponsoring the conference last year, so I was very grateful about that. And you were also, as a regular attendee last year at the conference, so maybe we you can give us a little bit of, of, of feedback on, on how it was for you uh, being on the other side as an attendee. I remember Rainer Brockerhoff did one talk that... Uh, uh, had some very interesting old timey stuff, and I'm always uh, yeah. I like the nostalgic stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mike Lee did one as well, right? Yeah, Mike Lee was um, there, twelve and thirteen. Yeah, yeah. So, so those are always entertaining. Mm. And uh, yeah, we 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 thought about getting Mike again uh, this year, which uh, would be against my uh, I would say principles of not having every time the same people. But it turns out that Mike is so awesome that I was figuring I was thinking about it, uh, but they're probably going to be too busy uh, preparing outcomes and all stuff like that. Um, mm. But uh, yeah, we, we still have uh, some slots left and we are thinking about the, 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 the next people. So let's move to your uh, talk, which is interesting when you gave me the name the first time. 
basically, you're going to tell us why programming sucks. Uh, but m most importantly, you're going to tell us how to make it better. I mean, the, the, the thing is, if, if, you, if you look back at, you know, how programming, uh, how, how user interfaces actually started out and what we have now, you know, we came from like command line consoles and text files. Yeah. And now we have visual controls, graphics and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And so, so the, the general vein of the talk, um, it's... It, I don't want to give away too much because, well, for one thing, I'm still juggling around what will actually go into the talk. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, for, and for another thing, people have to pay for the tickets. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, so we don't so. want to. But um, <laughs> so, so the, the general gist uh, that I'll be trying to get across is that uh, if you look at today's programming tools, what we're, essentially they're all still text editors with... Um, other tools that trigger the compilation and that's it True. so there is very little in the actual writing of the code that actually is a user interface True. and yeah. i have some ideas that uh, i'm actually trying some of them out in in one of my open source projects um so um I, I'm, I'll see. Some, I hope that I can get some of them implemented in my project, so I can actually do a real live demo. If I can't, then I'll uh, mock up something nice and and at least show people how it could work. Um, but yeah, so the the idea is essentially to to take uh, how programming works um, and make it easier to use and make it especially um, less text heavy. But that doesn't mean you can't use the keyboard. When you speak about the UI uh, and an app, the first thing that comes to my mind would be storyboard. On the other hand, I also know that you, um, as far as I remember some of our discussions, you don't, uh, you cannot use a lot of storyboard. And even, uh, I don't know if you have at all used the storyboard since they arrived on OS X. Uh, but that's, that's basically the, the only UI-ish thingy that, that you have. So I would be keen on getting your, um, your, 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 you know, your, your opinion on, on, on storyboards. The problem with storyboards, well, it's not really a problem, but, but why storyboards doesn't answer um, the, uh, is not the answer to the question I'm posing about why programming sucks, um, uh, or actually how, how you would not make programming suck, um, is that storyboards are a very special case technology. Mm -hmm. And they, they work for and, and we've had this in ages like nibs as, storyboards are essentially an evolution of nibs yeah. they have a few more operations that you can do but in the end there um it's all about just hooking up a few nibs to each other essentially as you would have written yeah. it before mm -hmm. so so they're a good step in the right direction but they don't go far enough and my idea is essentially to to like take the actual writing of the code of the glue code in between or other things and uh, propose a general uh, mechanism that works for, if not all, then at least uh, most kinds of uh, programs mm -hmm. that uh, uh, you might want to write. And also, of course, uh, storyboards are still essentially, uh, they're dumb in a way. They only... Um, they only do the things you tell them, and that's it. And they give little feedback. Yeah. Although I would and, argue, though, that I'm cool with things being dumb. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, because if, the other side of the of the of the problem would be things being over engineered. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm not saying they're over engineered, but if you've ever had to debug uh, layout constraints, well, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> that's a very smart technology. That's actually smarter than me, and I guess yeah. that's why I can't debug it. Yeah. Um, yeah, sure. You yeah, you have yeah. to be careful what you do, and um, so some some parts of that I want to look at are um, ways of making your code give you immediate feedback about what you're actually doing right now mm -hmm. and in that way helping you to actually uh, fix or uh, discover bugs mm -hmm. as you write the code and not just afterwards i think it's uh, it. it's um, pretty much everybody every coco developer would agree that our tools uh, could seriously be improved uh, take one example right now being Swift. Uh, Swift in itself is awesome. Uh, the language is awesome. 
the tools is just uh, it breaks all the time uh, source mm. kit whatever and uh, Xcode crashing and it's relatively immature so um, yeah I'm keen on seeing what what you're gonna offer as a possible solution to maybe not save the world but uh, mm. uh, just a little bit of that um, last thing that I wanted uh, to discuss with you because it's um, last year we, you were also at the um, at the hackathon at the hack day the third day. Um, that was a funny day. We were uh, very, very few people, but it, it, the problem was me actually, and not having announced uh, really officially that we were going to do this thing. Um, I would encourage everybody to go and, and and go see the videos because they are all online, um, all sessions from 2012, all sessions from 2013, plus your hack and my hack and everybody's hack. So it was a funny hack party. So this year it's going to be the first on the first day. I don't know if you have planned to hack something together or if you're going to help in the labs because, you know, there's this thing which where people can come up with your code. But I think you, you had a decent amount of, uh, of fun last year as well. As well. Mm. Uh, doing that. I'll see. I, I mean, the I definitely want to want to try doing the labs because I think I've done some weird stuff that other people might have questions about that I can help with. Yeah. Like, I mean, you know, I do user interfaces all day. I'm essentially working as a UI programmer. So, uh, that's uh, uh, there's a lot of things I've already broken where other people can at least you know ask me so what did I do to cause this misbehavior and I go yeah. like oh yeah that was when I did that stupid thing so uh, I might be able to help there that's an interesting it, concept instead of bring your code I would say I will break your code um, uh, well I, I can I can do that as well I but as I have well. to say you you really want more of a QA person there I'm yeah. I'm glad that we have QA people at the company and that they uh, find all the misfeatures that I make that I don't realize. So uh, it's not really the, the, the job I'm best at. Cool. All right. Uh, thank you very much for this little taste of your talk and of you so people get to know you. Uh, the, one of the reasons why I do those, those little videos is that when people see you on the first day, can, they can right away jump on you and ask you questions because they know already that you will break their code. Uh, maybe, maybe jump next to me because if you jump on me, I might break something. <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. Um, so, um, yeah, I would say uh, see you in Cologne very soon. And uh, uh, so. Send a lot of regards to all the folks in Munich. Uh, I still have to visit the city. Uh, haven't done that um, yet. It's still on my uh, child port. Uh, and um, see you soon. Same here. Bye-bye. Uh, have fun. Bye.